The year was 1923. The place, the Black Hills of South Dakota. State historian Don Robinson proposed that these granite outcroppings could be the site of an enormous monument dedicated to the heroes of the West, such as Lewis and Clark and Chief Red Cloud. But commissioned sculptor Gutson Borglum had a different concept in mind. Borglum was a passionately patriotic man and believed that a more fitting tribute should honor the American experience. A memorial that would represent our ideals, our dreams, and our accomplishments as a country. A memorial that would convey a spirit of patriotism. Borglum chose his canvas carefully. The giant granite rock face of Mount Rushmore. And in 1927, work on the mountain began. Borglum assembled a team of local miners, ranchers, and lumbermen to help with construction. The sculptor built a model of the presidents to serve as a guide. Every inch on the model represented one foot on the mountain. Year after year, Borglum and his crew hung perilously off the side of the mountain, drilling and blasting their way to reach granite solid enough for carving. It took 14 years and nearly one million dollars to complete the four 60-foot faces. And even though the sculptor did not live to see the very final touches put into place, he was able to carry out his vision. Four great Americans immortalized in stone. Symbolizing the democratic society in which we live, the struggle for our independence, the fight for our freedom and the sacrifices we have made since our country began more than 200 years ago. It was a time of rebellion and of war. It began as an uprising against British rule and turned into a full-fledged crusade 